Nearly 100 people paint this scene in watercolour. How different can they be? Which ones do you like and why? Hello, I'm Tim Wilmot, watercolour painter and tutor. I organise fairly regular online watercolour workshops and this is a compilation of attendee paintings from my November 2022 online workshop. So every month, well, most months, watercolour enthusiasts join me from all over the world and over a couple of hours or so, we have a painting session together and I do a step-by-step -step demo and answer people's questions along the way. This is the subject for the previous demo. It was uh, the Kenneth and Avon Canal at Bradford-on-Avon, not too far away from where I live, but quite a nice uh, scene here. Quite a lot of um, middle values. So it was a challenge to try and get in some darks and some lights into this just to give it a little bit more interest. The light is coming from behind me and we've got here a lock gate with quite a few people, different uh, figures around the scene, left and right of the canal, a distant um, bridge there in the distance. Maybe some cars going over the uh, the road there and distant trees. And then the framing on left and right with some houses. And what, what attracted me to this thing, to choose it for the workshop, was actually this quite nice reflection of the lock gates in the water. And that sort of rectangular, squarish shape there, which I thought also was quite attractive. And that's going to give us a little bit of the darks as well, that dark, that darker value. Um, as well as just a few little lights of the of the um, framing and uh, the the railings here of of the lock gate, and actually when when I took this photo, um, some volunteers were merrily painting. We had their white paint and their black paint out, painting all of this different ironwork and street furniture around the place. So it was a hive of activity. I invented a little bit of a shadow coming on the left-hand side. So shortly, I'm going to show you my effort from the demo. And then I'm going to go through the attendee paintings one by one and give a short critique on each one. Uh, please, this is just my own opinion. Of course, when we all look at paintings, we've all got different opinions and likes and dislikes. So it's just my opinion. But what I'm looking for in the or each painting is uh, a sense of the the composition, uh, drawing skills, different watercolor techniques, um, sticking to the brief. Now, also as I go through the attendee paintings, uh, these paintings were taken by the individuals themselves, and they will be taken on uh, using different devices or mobile devices, and some of them may. Be better quality the photos may be better quality than others and different lighting conditions as well quite often i find when people take a photograph it will end up quite darker the photograph will end up darker than the actual image itself if you saw it in natural light so just bear that in mind as we go through if you want to take part in any of these events please go up to my website my event website which is crowdcast.io slash at the like the email symbol tim wilmot t-i-m-w-i-l-m-o-t and i look forward to seeing you on a future workshop so let's uh have a look at my painting first of all then this is mine then and you can see that shadow there on the left hand side with the bench just gradually appearing out from that shadow I put a car, I just think it needed something on that left-hand side there. I quite like the um, geometric shapes or rectangular shapes on the left-hand side, the windscreen, the A-board sign. I think there was some sort of a, a little cafe behind me. The very end of the arm of the lock gate, it's got that white rectangle there as well, a street sign. So I thought that was quite a nice sort of, sort of pattern of shapes on, on the left-hand side. And then there's my my effort at the reflection. I just maneuver myself around. There's my reflection, trying to get in a bit of movement in the water as well. And the quite attractive square rectangle thing. 
that's uh, reflecting that gap in the gate and various people left and right background try to keep that fairly simple with the town of Bradford on Avon in the distance but keep it very very light in value pushing it back and those those two trees now the for me the bigger tree was on the right hand side in reality I just moved them around I just thought it looked a little bit better having the bigger tree on the left and smaller tree on the right tiny bit of negative painting for the tree trunks and then over on the right hand side uh, a row of cottages just sort of framing that that right hand edge there yep so that's my effort and let's go through the attendee paintings first is Anna we're going to go through in alphabetical order good balance of the composition love the figures maybe that car is just a little bit too round in shape perhaps consider making it a bit more sort of squarish, sharper corners. But good range of values. Just zoom in a little bit. Good range of values. Um, the water, maybe just a little bit too brown here coming towards us, but those reflections are brilliant. And the gates, uh, I should have mentioned in my my preamble that the, the gates are probably quite difficult to draw. There's lots of long straight lines to get right and the actual symmetry of the gates as well but you've done really well Anna yeah good figures well done uh, next up is Barb yeah again good balance to it maybe that car might be just a little bit too bright on the left hand side if it could be perhaps the body was a little bit uh, darker that that would be good lovely shadow on the left hand side nothing overworked very good reflection as well Good range of figures um, with these two figures there it looks like they perhaps if their feet were a little bit below the top of that gate there it looks like they're sort of standing on that gate in, in a in a little way so um, yeah just consider maybe moving them away just to unconnect them with the gate but good good figures and uh, good building well done Bob uh, Becky, Becky zoomed in on this and I think that works really well. A nice sort of study of the gate in a little bit more detail. Very peaceful scene with the reflection. I like that, that blue, um, oval shape there. Lovely soft rocks on the left hand side. Um, the grass as well. Maybe with the, perhaps if this, the whole scene was, lowered a little bit i think that might work a little bit better so we could just see a bit more of the background but just a just a tiny bit very good figures um yeah the the seated figure there on the left hand side sat on the the arm of the gate and those two figures on the right well done becky thank you um bruno oh it's quite light oh, i do like that car um Definitely looks like a, a Citroen Picasso or something like that. Uh, lovely car on the left-hand side. I, what else can we say? Um, perspective. Maybe that bench might be angling up a little bit too much. I think if the top was a bit more horizontal, might give the sense of the viewer being a little bit lower in the scene. Very good lock gate, so nice reflection, nothing overdone beautiful granulation of your of your paint in the reflections as well quite attractive dry brush marks there on the top of the water yeah thank you Bruno and Buck oh we can certainly see uh, the the texture of your paper good quality paper at love nice and light here uh, on on that side good balance the composition very good car um, looks like a, what's that, a BMW or something like that. Yeah, nice car on the left-hand side. Uh, good tree, good, nice bit of negative painting around those tree trunks. Good figures. Nice reflection. Yeah, nice and nice buildings left and right. Well done, Buck. Uh, Chada. Well, it's, quite, it's got a quite a lot of, it's got a lively atmosphere, this one. I think with your brush marks, the way you've done the trees, 
with those brush shapes, those brush marks, those distant trees there, to some extent the reflections. Um, yeah, it's got a bit of liveness about it, a little bit of looseness about it. Uh, just be careful at the base of the trees, not going, not sort of overworking just a little bit too much. Um, reflections are good. Uh, I think there would be less of a light, a light line around that waterline. Perhaps that could be just a little bit darker and try and get these, these gates here just a little bit straighter as well. Uh, and also another good idea might be to, with the pencil marks on in the lighter areas, the bits of the paper that you left unpainted, maybe just consider rubbing those out, or erasing those, just to give a, a bit of a cleaner look to it. What well on Charter and uh, Christy? What a very bright scene. Excellent figures, good a good group of figures. Um, we've got those here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven figures. Well done. Uh, very good um, drawing and painting of the lock gates. Um, I'm not sure if there's a slight lean on the painting. I'm not sure the the angle you took it. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of a lean on the angle of your photo. Looks like we're leaning just a little bit. Um, if I was to draw a line, looks like you know there's a sort of line like that, um, but. Putting that aside, I think it's a, it's a very nice scene. Expertly painted and executed. Nice shadow on the left-hand side. Yeah, well done. Great figures. Well done, uh, Christy. And Daniel. Yeah, good overall composition. Now, I think the drawing, fairly good perspective, but that bridge looks a little bit sort of lopsided, Daniel. So... Um, I think it was a bit more symmetrical. That might look a little bit better. And also just be careful of the overworking a bit too much. And the use of white paint. Now, I I do use white paint, as you know, just to add in some highlights around figures and things like that, particularly if the light is coming towards me, um, just to add a bit of extra sparkle on the tops of objects and figures. Uh, with white paint, um, yours is a little bit diluted, so we've got that sort of greyish, chalky sort of look to it. So um, try and try and use it with a little bit less water. That car is very, very good, like, like the car. Figures are good as well, good range of figures. Uh, but just, yeah, just a little bit overworked, Daniel. So try and try and keep it fresh, all right, and try and apply one layer um, rather than multiple layers or going a little bit too thick with your paint. Uh, well done. Uh, Dave, there might be a few days. I've got this, I've got, I've got this one down as Dave J. Uh, we normally have quite a few Daves and Davids um, attending. So I label this one as, as Dave J. You've gone for more, uh, quite a horizontal look to this one, Dave. It looks good. Um, I think with the placement of the bridge, it might be difficult to see where the road uh, is on the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the bridge. But the bridge looks good. Uh, love the darkness in the, so zoom in a bit, love that darkness in the, the left-hand corner, that, that um, the perspective of the bench and the, the buildings left and right, just right. And the, there's a sort of um, footpath up the right-hand side and uh, you've, you've got that um, well, well and truly uh, nicely drawn with the perspective there. Good figures as well. The lock gates are excellent. Perhaps there might be just a bit too much of a gap down that middle where the um, left and the right hand side of the gate meet. Just a bit too bright there. And a bit too bright on that waterline. But good reflections. Well done, Dave. Oh, <laughs> jump straight into the Edwards. Um, only one Dave. Right, Edward. Yeah, good perspective. Well drawn. Love the trees, love the sky, love the trees. I think the figures, some of their heads might be just a little bit too large and spherical. And that car could be 
a little bit wider. It's too much like a sort of A, like the letter A. And also, I would put in a little bit of a soft shadow underneath it. All right, just there, just to where I've put in red. Imagine a bit of a shadow there. With the light behind us, perhaps um, it would be obviously trying to give the appearance of the shadow being behind the car rather than in front of the car. Love all this though, very loose down there in the bottom left hand corner. Excellent and very good reflections. Well done, Edward. It's probably an Ed. Not, not so sure. Ed, Ed or Edward. Fauzia, very lively. You've certainly got lots of colours into this photo. I think the perspective is not quite right. We're, it looks as if we're looking down a little bit too much on the scene. Um, a bit more noticeable on the left-hand side there with the rooftops going up rather than rather than coming down like that, if you sort of mean. So the base of the buildings might be a little bit more horizontal, but the top tops of rooftops angling down. So try and... Try and get the drawing right before um, embarking on introducing paint to the thing. Good figures, nice figures. Uh, a little bit overworked with some of the darks, the trees. But other than that, lovely colours. Well done. Thanks very much. And Ian. Right, so a lot of lightness in this. I think there needs to be... A little bit, right, the, the trees in the background, they could be a little bit darker. That's going to make the bridge appear a little bit lighter. Watch the perspective. We're looking down a bit too much on the lock itself, this, this area, this area here. That could be, imagine being a little bit flatter, okay? And likewise, the, the lane, the pathway on the right-hand side, you know, that needs to be, that be the far side of the pathway. This might be the near side of the pathway. Likewise, on the left-hand side, uh, the road going off there. That the, the building's all right from a perspective point of view. We just need to add a bit more detail into it, I think. And then shadows for the figures as well. They're, they're sort of, they need to be connected to the ground a bit more. So a tiny bit of soft shadow would, uh, would work there, Ian. Thanks very much. Uh, Isabel. Yeah, very nice. Well executed. Lovely drawing. Perspective is just right. Those figures are very nice. I like the the adult and child to zoom into this one. How far can I zoom in? There we are. Oh, you've got quite a lot of figures as well. Almost as many as Christy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah, particularly like the uh the mother and child there. Um Quite a nice pose. And the, the the lock gates really well painted. Lovely reflections. Yeah, nice one as well. Thank you. And Joe. Well, I, my, I don't know whether that's a focal point for you, Joe, but my eyes immediately went to this figure here. I think the lock gates, a little bit too light at the base of those gates, and they're a little bit overworked. Good composition. The right-hand buildings might be just a little bit too overpowering and a bit too warm in colour. Be careful with a bit of overworking of those trees. Try and keep them fresh. And also uh, the grass on the left-hand side. Perhaps your paint might be just a little bit too dry. Add a bit more water to it. Reflections are good, though. I like those reflections. You've got a good colour in there. I like that effect there. I'm not sure what that is, what's causing that, but it's, it's, I like it. You've got that little square in there also. Uh, and the bench as well. I think the perspective is, is actually quite good on yours, Joe. It's, um, yeah, it's turned out all right. And uh, I keep, my, my keep looking at this, this seated figure there. Maybe he's got a flat cap or something like that. Gives him a bit of character. Yeah, nice one, Joe. Thank you. John D. I love those trees. They they're very imposing. You've made them a little bit larger, I think, than than they are in the source photo. But you're, that work, works really well. Uh, I love the the 
brush marks in this, John, um, the composition. Maybe overall you've gone for a slightly darker scene than the source photo. I think yours works. It's got a lot of atmosphere. Uh, and also on that left-hand side, let's just zoom in there. Beautiful uh, brush marks down the, down the left-hand side. Car could be a little bit larger. Maybe consider a tiny bit of lightness on the on the windscreen there, just to give it a, uh, just to add in some some sort of uh, a lighter object on the left hand side to balance um, balance the overall composition. Yeah, excellent figures as well. Bit of movement in some of those figures. This guy looks like he's pushing the arm of the um, of the gate, which is which you would do. Uh, and there are some steps there which which assist whoever's pushing that arm. Uh, give them a bit of traction. Yeah, I do like those trees, though. Fantastic trees, especially that one on the left. All the colours in that tree. What well on, John. Uh, Joy. Uh, now, Joy uh, always does quite soft uh, paintings, and this one certainly is one of those lovely softness to it. Great figures. Very, very good figures. Yeah, the, the figure on that left-hand side, the seated figure, Excellent, just right. Good drawing and painting of the lock gates. Bit of darkness coming in on the left-hand side, the darkness at the base of that tree there. And I, I do like the way you've done those, those buildings on the left-hand side as well. Just the right sort of colourful buildings in this area. Perhaps that bridge could be a little bit thicker uh, and maybe a little bit darker in the in the lock gate area but it's it's a nice scene you've done some very careful painting around some of those those railings and fences as well uh kazim yeah like we've got a good range of lights and darks in this one the darkness in that bottom left hand corner it just tends to make everything else a little bit lighter Nice painting of some darks on those two trees in the background. I like that uh, little bit of darkness behind that rectangular scene there as well. That works. That works well. Good figures. Nice reflections. Good soft edges to those reflections. What well on Kazim? Karina. Good drawing. You've got two, it looks like you've got two cars in, well done. Great figures as well. Love the, the pose of the figures, the ones on the left-hand side. You've got that seated figure on this side. Excellent, really, really nice. And there's, there's a guy here fishing as well. Oh, I can see what you've done. You've, you've swapped, oh, that's a good idea. You've swapped the figures from the source photo. The figures are on the right, they're on the left and, and vice versa. Yeah, that works really well. Nice soft figures there, good lock gates. I would, with your palette, uh, I think that, that a, a little bit of green uh, for the grass might work here. I'm not so sure about these brush marks that you've got on this on this kind of surface. It does, in, in where this place is, there's a little bit of a gravelly area here, and then it comes into a grassy area, so... Um, personally, I just would prefer just a little bit more green. You've got it. You've got it coming in there, and uh, nice, nice brush marks as well. I suppose it sort of works with that warmth or so. Good, a uh, good uh, darker value down the bottom left hand side. Good reflections. Yeah, well done, Karina. A uh, Kubra. All right, let's zoom in here. Now this. I reckon this is one of these photos that is a little bit darker than it is in reality. I bet the, the actual real thing is a bit lighter than this. The trees might be just a tiny bit too dark, the background trees. If we made them a bit lighter and just watch, watch the brush marks, don't make them too spiky, uh, These the edges of the trees there. The background trees, making them a little bit lighter, pushes them back a bit more. Good drawing. Figures. Now, with the figures, just what, just add in a little bit more detail to them. Connect the head to the body, I think. 
the that darkness there, try not to have it sort of cascading around the left hand side of the figure. Either have it have it going right behind the figure or have the figure over the top of it rather than that that kind of line there looks just a little bit awkward. And likewise, if that's a figure there, that, that sort of edge to the the darkness of the bridge. But good good range of values, nice reflection, good softness in the water. I like that sky as well. Brilliant. Lillian. Let's just zoom in a bit more. Yeah, nice sort of lots of soft edges in this one. Try and get in a few hard edges. The the actual lock gates are very well drawn. Nice strong horizontal edge uh, of those lock gates. Good reflections. The car on the left hand side is a little bit lost. I'm not sure if your photo might be a bit out of focus, but it's the right size. But uh, I think if it was there was a bit more light there. Like you've got you've got the light on that rooftop of this small building there if you had a bit more lightness over there i think have a bit more impact but nice scene yeah well done and lorna it's a bit like uh joy's uh softness appearing in here yes it really works perhaps with the water it looks like the water level is a tiny bit too high and or the canal is a little bit too wide but putting that aside it's well drawn i think we've got the perspective pretty much right make sure the car like was it anna's first of all try and make the car a little bit more angular and straight lines and, and corners rather than like a, a sort of bubble there uh, figures on the whole are good, especially those figures on the right hand side. This guy to here is a little bit too chunky with the with the shoulders. But well done with the figures on the whole. Good reflection as well. Good fre reflections could be a bit darker on that gate there, just a tiny bit darker. Yeah, just thinking about the the darkness of those lock gates, the the shadow will be in colour or in value would be a little bit lighter, but certainly a bit darker than that. And I would have made the park bench, the bench on the left hand side, a bit darker as well. Trees are nice, well done. Uh, Lynn, very clean, very bold. I like those trees, very nice trees. The lock gates, they might be just a little bit too high. I think just a tiny bit, but everything else is well drawn. Bit of a lean of the buildings on the right hand side from a perspective point of view. Oh, the ones on the left look all right. And just be careful, bit of overworking on that left hand side. Try and keep things fresh. Good reflections though, and good figures. Well done, Lynn. Another Lynn. Again, there's maybe that gate might be just a bit too high, a bit too much of a gap in the in the middle there close that up make it a bit more chunky uh, like the bench on the left hand side be careful with the overworking on the left hand side uh, just on the verge of being a little bit overworked the perspective is very good on this one excellent left and right good figures what well on lynn thank you and magali Yep, it's well drawn, good perspective. Just be careful of the figures. That's a good idea to have something in the foreground or something in that bottom left-hand corner. There was, or I, I put in the bench as something to fill in that bottom left-hand corner with a darker shadow. You've gone for the figures. Just be careful of having something that's so well drawn and painted being right on the bottom edge, right on the foreground like that. Consider if those figures were a little bit higher up. So if those figures were in that position there and thinking about perspective, trying to get the tops of their heads all in a line. So the other, the more distant figures, they're just right. But these, these two, the, the add-on chart here, I would have moved those up a little bit more. That would look better. Well done. And Mike. 
Uh, Mike's uh, zoomed into the scene as well. Nice, a nice detailed study of the lock gates and the detail and the the stud work and the, the things that are holding it together. Uh, just be careful. I would say, Mike, just be careful of the white paint a bit too much. I think it's noticeable in the water. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get a little bit of sense of that movement and um, extra interest to some of the reflection, a little bit of sparkle on those reflections. But the, the white paint, it's gone a little, it's a, got a little bit too much water with it. And what's happened is that as the water dries, you get that grayness appearing in the middle and then this sort of whiter edge to it, which, um, and I've, I've done this myself so many times and I kick myself afterwards. I just think it would look a little bit fresher if you had thicker white paint there. But it's really well drawn. Love the bench, the detail on that bench and the colours as well. You can see a bit of lichen and stuff growing on it. Great figures. Well done. Uh, Nidia. Right, good perspective. The lock gates may be a bit too dark, or if we had a bit of highlighting on in this middle area here, we could just see a little bit more of the form of those gates. But on the whole, the gates are good. Figures are good as well. Nice group of figures. Trying to make them too thin. All right, these this figure here is good. These two figures on the right-hand side, good. But this one there, these two on the left-hand side, just a little bit too thin. Well done. Uh, Pablo. I think Pablo has done something like this before with, this, with these cyclists and the bicycles, which you would find in that area. It's a very popular cycling route because it's quite flat by canals, of course. So it's uh, really popular for cyclists to go up and down. Yeah, nice idea with the inclusion of cyclists. Perhaps with the colour palette, it might be just a bit too colourful and on the verge of being overworked a bit too much. And just a tiny bit too much of the splattering in the bottom left-hand side. But putting that um, to one side, uh, really well drawn, love the figures, and yeah, great idea with inclusion of the bicycles. And this one here is really well drawn, the proportion of the wheels and the frame and the saddle and the handlebars just right. Nice reflection as well. Well done, Pablo. And Ravi. Zoom, zoom into the career level. Well drawn. Car's a bit too small, Ravi. I would make it maybe 50% bigger than that. Nice shed on the left-hand side. Good drawing of the bridge. Good figures. Maybe the figures could stand out just a little bit more on that right-hand side there. Um, the water level... Like some of the others, your water level appears quite high. I think if the um, if there was a bit of a heavy downpour here, we might be in danger of some a little bit of flooding there. But other than that, yeah, really nice, uh, really nice, fresh drawing. A nice, lovely brightness on that right hand side. Uh, Ray, now I do like the dimensions of your paper. You've you've uh, like my source photo. It was quite wide and. Ray's adopted that and it really works. Yeah, you, you've got the strong horizontals here, the horizon, the bridge, the lock gate, the tops of the, the buildings left and right. Um, it's a nice sort of strong design element to it. Uh, not so sure about the car, too detailed in my mind with those round headlights. There's a little bit too much detail. I would have gone... A bit loose with that. Nice darks, shadows, reflections. Yeah, nice one, Ray. Like the dimensions. Roger. It's fresh. Well drawn. Quite, a, it's a, quite a, a tight um, drawing, this one. I, I like your car. I was... Um, Picky up on Ray for the round headlights, but I actually quite like that one. And also the quirkiness of the, the left-hand light a bit 
the left hand front light being a little bit small on the right hand one. Oh, it's, it's nice. Uh, good figures. Love the trees, especially that right hand tree. That right hand tree looks better than the left hand one. This this one this one's might be a bit too spiky. Uh, whereas this one, with the way you've used your brush and on rough paper, you've got those little bunches of leaves outside of the the edge of the canopy and that darkness inside. That tree, in my opinion, far better than the left-hand one. Well, they're both very good. Uh, the bench in the bottom left corner here could be a little bit larger and I would have gone a bit darker with the shadows as well. It's quite a sort of empty area. So think about putting something in some darker brush marks, maybe. Nice stonework on the right-hand side. That looks very realistic, that stonework. Yeah, very nice. Right, uh, Sally. Well drawn. Again, you've sort of zoomed in. We've sort of zoomed in a little bit on the scene. Good figures on the whole. This one on the right-hand side. Um, yeah, perhaps that figure might be... Uh, maybe with... If that was going to be a child leaning over the arm of that, of that lock gate perhaps make the head just a little bit larger um children will have in proportion of bodies just a little bit of a larger head so just consider doing that how is on the left hand side just watch the perspective a bit but it's really well painted nice and fresh love the greens nice reflections yeah well done sally next up sarrow nice and clean well drawn, particularly on the left hand side, that house there is perfect. Maybe the the apex of those buildings on the right hand side, that that left hand one, perhaps that angle oops, that angle there could be a bit like that, and then come down a bit like that. That might look a tiny bit better. Trees, lovely trees, good bridge, good figures, excellent figures. That maybe the adult figure here might be a little bit large. Uh, compared to this guy on the left hand side try and make them fairly similar in size I would think car make the windscreen just a little bit wider but other than that a nicely drawn car good shadows on the left hand side that bench just gradually coming out emerging from the shadows nice reflections good lock gates with the lock gates try and make them the same they were, they were quite tricky to draw, and we've got to make sure that the arms have the same thickness um, down, their, down their length. Lovely reflections, though. Those reflections are beautiful. Really nice and fresh. Well done. And Sheila. Yeah, good perspective. I like that tree. It's got a bit of movement in it. Uh, nice greens of those trees. The bench is really well drawn. Yeah, it's, it's, I like the way you've done that grass. It's quite sort of impressionistic, uh, that uh, grass. Excellent. Good reflections. Don't think we need that little bit of white paint there. Um, I know it's reflecting possibly that white post. Uh, just be careful. A bit of overworking. Just a tiny bit on that right-hand side in the bridge. That's a lovely, lovely scene. Well done. Thanks, Sheila. And Susan. Right, now, I'm not sure if we got the perspective quite right on this one. On the, It's on the right-hand side. If I was to draw a line um, down the middle, I think on the left-hand side looks good. Figure could be a bit bigger. But on the left-hand side looks good. But on the right-hand side, I think we've got a bit of a lean creeping in. Maybe the top of the canal could be a bit more horizontal and then the footpath beyond it could be a little bit more horizontal. And then the base of those buildings, a little bit like that, all right, sort of going to a, a vanishing point over there. Other than that, a, it's I, I like those greens. This grass is fantastic. The shadows, lovely colours in the shadows. Good reflection as well. Maybe a bit too much of the lighter gaps appearing in there. But a nice one, Susan. Well done. Uh, Tim. Tim C, not me, another Tim. And, oh, another strong horizontals. Perhaps that bridge can have a bit more of a, a hump in it. 
nice trees, good good uh, colour choice. I think the photo, I reckon, is another one of these photos where it's a little bit darker than it the the actual painting would be in reality. I'm pretty sure. With the white paint, a um, bit more water there. It's it's doesn't really stand out too well. I too so <laughs> I too. Um, have that problem sometimes I I do a little bit of a, a white line with say with a rigger brush and it's just too too dry and uh not enough water in it so you get that kind of sort of dry brush mark appearing but other than that really well drawn nice strong curve here bridge on the left hand side yeah well done uh Tony zoom in a little bit more on Tony's I like those trees very nice trees. It's just the right sort of green. Perhaps the buildings on the left and right, are, are, well, the one on the left particularly, a bit too light. Perhaps there could be a bit more detail in that or the windows a bit bigger. Car could be a little bit wider. Good figures though. Try and give the, some of the figures a bit of a shadow. We've got, we've got the shadow with the guy on the left. Maybe, they sh maybe the figures could be a tiny bit bigger as well. Just a tiny bit by a few more. Uh, millimeters yeah a bit more of a shadow on the right hand side good figures good reflections and good shadow on the left hand side as well bottom left hand corner well done Tony uh, Victor I love that tree nice brush marks there so you've you've uh, I bet uh, Victor you've you've used the side of your brush and you've started at the edge of the canopy and just dragged it into the middle of the, the uh, the um the tree very wesson like yeah i like it um building on the left hand side is leaning a bit too much with the perspective the top roof is okay but the bottom needs to be a bit more horizontal love that car very nice car uh figures are all right but the heads are a little bit too big on those figures nice reflections lovely loose shadow in the bottom left hand corner well done victor and Vicente, I think Vicente is the last one of the bunch. Yep, good. Now, good drawing. I think it's a little bit overworked, all right. And uh, the bridge could stand out a bit more. We're kind of lost where the bridge is. So the bridge could be maybe twice the size, all right. Good car on the left-hand side. Lovely shadows. Just to zoom into those shadows. Beautiful. This, this is exactly what watercolor should do. Look at the way the shadows are connected to that bench. They're sort of all done in one. Yeah, very, very nice shadows. Uh, but just watch that little bit of bit of overworking, I think, and try and try and get in a few more lights also. Maybe perhaps that windscreen there could have been a little bit lighter. Uh, good figures though. Really good figures. Especially like this guy on the left sat on the old uh, lock gate there right well i hope you enjoyed uh, watching those attendee paintings just a a, a sample of uh, some of them some people don't some people that attend you you don't when you attend you don't need to don't feel pressure that you've got to send um a photo of your painting to me to be exhibited publicly like this and uh and uh, me too <laughs> maybe in some some cases being a little bit a little bit harsh with my my comments but um, I'm meaning it in a in a positive way but thanks very much all of you that attended the November workshop I'm looking forward to seeing you on the December one as I say uh, go up to my event site crowdcast.io slash at Tim Wilmot you'll see all of the future events coming up and also you can still take part in the previous ones and feel free to email me a photo of your painting for a little critique so thanks for watching catch up with you on the next video